Forensic linguistics is a relatively new field. I interest really began in the 1980s and mostly in English-speaking countries. Uh, the principal locuses of, uh, of, of early interest were England, um, the United States, and um, Australia. In three ways, uh, forensic linguistics fits within the framework of the work of a university professor. The, um, the first one is uh, in teaching. Today, many universities actually offer courses in forensic linguistics, and I've taught those myself. Secondly is the field of research. There's ample opportunity for many different kinds of, of research in forensic linguistics. And the third is in the field of professional uh, responsibility. There are organizations uh, devoted now to uh, the interchange of information within the field of forensic linguistics, such as the International Association of forensic linguists. There's a whole lot of discussion that's been going on recently about ethics in forensic linguistic consulting. I was, uh, I, I chaired a subcommittee for the Linguistic Society of America in which we put together a, a statement on ethics and best practices for forensic linguistic uh, uh, consultants and that has now just been adopted by the Linguistic Society of America and I'm very proud of that. It's vitally important to always tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And then it's, I'll leave it up to the lawyers to figure out uh, whether that's useful to their case or not.